and secondly is our money they have to be missional in their essence that means our finances we can't talk about being like a missionary on this earth in tri-cities if we do not use our finances for the missional purposes our finances are either an idol that we worship or an instrument that we worship with when Israel received great prosperity from Egyptians when they exited the Egypt we know that God had an intent to bless them but God also had an intent that that money will be used to build an ark of the covenant to build a, build a tent of meeting to build a place where Levites can come and worship and there will be continuous worship to God so God's grace will come upon the whole land the interesting part is that before Moses came down with all those commandments Israel used their money not to build themselves big houses to build a golden cow to worship because this is what we do with our money if we don't use it as an instrument to build God's kingdom the lie of the devil is that well if you don't give money to the church you're gonna get rich you don't we use that money to build a golden cow that we worship that eventually destroys our life most people do not use their extra finances to advance their kingdom they advance some other thing that actually destroys them our finances are either left or right they're either an instrument to build God's kingdom or actually they're an idol that we worship that eventually destroys us when you build your use your finances to build God's kingdom to win the lost to support the missions to do all of these things God in return will bless you with enough to build your own life in a way that you couldn't do it on your own but if you become stingy you become greedy and you say no 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 I'm gonna go build myself devil is there he will take those finances and help you build a golden calf that you will worship and that golden calf will eventually bring calamity in your life